temperatures seem to be cooling down for us this week, but there are still dangers that can arise for parents and pet owners around the valley. In fact, an experiment done by Consumer Reports proved that even at temperatures as low as 61 degrees, a car can heat to over 105 in less than an hour. Unfortunately, children and pets have died in temperatures as low as 57 degrees. As our reporter Jenna Yanoni shockingly learned. Jenna? Thanks. Even with weather as beautiful as today's, this is still an issue that we need to be concerned about year round. Check it out. 41. That's the number of times a car door has locked in 2019 in the U.S. with a forgotten child inside, leading to tragic consequences. Three of them happening right here in Arizona. Climatologist Nancy Sealover explains why tragedies like these happen and how they happen so fast. Cars heat up fairly quickly, um, but the issue is that then becomes an issue because the inside of the car gets hot because the sun comes through the window and it, um, it hits the surfaces, it's absorbed, the surfaces get hot and that heats the air inside the car. If the windows are up, or even if they're cracked, the air, the hot air inside doesn't escape and isn't replaced by cooler air, and so it just kind of builds up. As scientists study the hows and whys of leaving a child or pet forgotten in a car, a market of products has sprung up, including several devices intended to stop hot car deaths from happening. Prescott Valley Police Officer Caleb Cousins explains the system used to ensure the safety of their canines, including his own partner in fighting crime. Oh. Chewy. HK9 Hot and Pop is what we run in our K9 vehicles. They help us in two fashions. One, they alert us if the car gets hot. Um, not only will they alert us, they'll alert a secondary handler or a designated person that we want a message sent to. The system alerts the officer via cell phone and then sets off the siren and alarm. It rolls down the dog's window and it starts a fan to cool the car. Arizona police aren't the only ones using these innovative technologies with apps all over the market that can help remind parents of their backseat babies. Louis Molinari is the CEO of Baby Save, a nonprofit organization that promotes awareness against leaving kids in cars. He says that the solution is not in one single product, but instead in collaboration. We all need to work closer and share each other's resources because it is a village that will stop this problem. But right now it's going to take things like baby safe, things like apps, things like the technology, education, et cetera, et cetera, working holistically to try to put this problem to bed. If you do come across a distressed child or pet left alone in a car, Arizona law does protect you. First, you need to call 911, then you may break the window and free the child or pet, and then you just need to stay on site until police arrive. For Cronkite News, I'm Jenny Anoni.